All right, good morning and welcome again to Texas Children's Hospital. I know you guys have been sitting for a little while this morning, so we're gonna do a little informal poll and I'm gonna ask you to participate. So if you're a clinician that's in the room and you've done direct patient care in the last five years, I want you to stand up and stay standing for me. Clinician who's provided bedside care in the last five years. Okay, if you're not a clinician, but you have been a patient in our healthcare system in the last five years, I want you to stand up, stay standing. I see you people sitting down, stand up. All right, and if you've been a visitor, you've had a patient, friend, relative, loved one that's been in our healthcare system and you visited them in the healthcare environment, I want you to stand up. All right, please stay standing for just one more moment. We're gonna let our blood flow a little bit. <laughs> All right, now I want you to listen carefully to this question and sit down. If you feel that technology impacted your experience in the healthcare environment, as you were a patient, a visitor, or a clinician in the last five years, please sit down. If technology impacted your experience. Uh, Tim. <laughs> there always has to be one. So I know I said this is a non-scientific poll, but I think that's pretty remarkable that almost everyone in this room has been part of the healthcare experience and all of us felt like we were impacted by technology. You know, we all know in this room that technology has forever changed the healthcare environment. We know that sometimes it's changed it for the better and sometimes it's changed it for the worse. And that's why we're all here today because we want to make sure that the healthcare environment is a positive one when technology is married with the clinicians. Yet, as you'll see in this quote from AHRQ, nurses, and I would venture to say most clinicians, are not prepared in our educational programs. We don't get connections with engineers, with computer scientists, and those sort of people that really teach us how technology is going to change the way that we deliver care once we leave our educational programs. So this morning, what we'd like to do is really give you that perspective. We're going to show you three different vignettes from a clinician's point of view, from a patient's point of view, and then from a visitor's point of view to really show you what impact technology has on our patients, families, and on ourselves every single day. this first video that we're going to show you, I challenge you to really look at the video and think through you're an excited family coming to the hospital, excited about the birth of a brand new baby. You walk into the department, you have someone that takes your photo ID, takes your picture, there's a background check that's done automatically to ensure that you're not a danger to the institution. The security guard who's normally in a low-tech position now has to utilize technology to armband you and buzz you into the unit. So put yourself in that visitor's shoes. You're coming to see a brand new baby born. You may be coming to see a terminally ill loved one. What does that technology do to you? How do you interact with it? How does that make you feel as a visitor in our institutions? So now another little quiz. How many pieces of technology do we see? Who wants to guess? John, you can't play. <laughs> two? I see someone says, I see two, someone right says two, five. Nine. So six. Six is what I counted, but I will tell you that we um, have changed this multiple times if we've watched the videos, that there are more and more pieces of technology that we see. So Jennifer spoke about the visitor's um, experience, and I'm going to take it to the patient's point of view. How does it feel to be that patient that's surrounded by technology? Are we making eye contact with the patient or the caregivers that are at their bedside? Or are we in there just going off through our task list to make sure that we get our job done, whether we're the nurse, the physician, or an ancillary service? That patient doesn't care about the technology. They've come to your institution because they trust the folks that are providing the care. What are we doing to make sure that they feel that care? And we've heard that theme spoken with the first panel and from the questions and the thing. What are we doing to make sure the human touch is still there? purposely stopped narrating 
because this is exhausting to me from the patient's perspective. I watched this over and over again and said, we are exhausting our patients with technology. They're either here sick or they're excited about delivering a baby. Maybe it's a woman in labor and maybe she didn't get there quite in time for her epidural, so there's a lot of pain going on. Or again, it's a you know, family member bringing in a terminally ill child. We're exhausting them with the technology. Where's the touch? And for your pop quiz, how many pieces of technology did you see in that video? It's a little higher than six. Any guesses? 13. I've heard 10, I've heard 13. I've counted 11, but just like Jennifer stated, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, did I miss something? So 11. Okay, let's take a look at it from the nurse's point of view. Technology is rampant in the healthcare setting. As our nurse enters the unit, she quickly badges in for the day. Our nurse doesn't have any time to waste today. She has a busy patient assignment. She heads to the supply room, logs in to scrub bags to get her scrubs for the day. Securing her scrubs, she navigates her way to the nurse's station, greeting her fellow coworkers along the way. She enters the nursing station, goes into a supply room, grabs her Volt phone, logs it out, logs into the phone, and makes sure that she has a battery pack that's gonna last a 12-hour shift. Now she's armed with her primary communication device, she checks in with the unit clerk assistant for her nurse call patient assignment. She finds an available workstation, logs into Epic, and looks at her patient list activity. She notices right away that her patient is due for medication, so she quickly navigates to the OmniCell to retrieve that medication. Before leaving, she does a quick quality control on the glucometer. Heading out, our very efficient nurse glances up at the Navicare board to make sure her patient is still doing well, and she's traveling down to her patient's room. She's lucky at this point she hasn't been interrupted by a Volt text message, alarm, or phone call, or a lost visitor. She enters the patient's room, introduces herself, quickly logs into the dual monitor workstation. She's gonna grab a set of vital signs before you can even blink, check the patient's temperature, monitor the patient's physiological data for data validation, monitor the fetal surveillance, and now she's barcoding medications uh, uh, as well as the patient's armband. She's lucky enough to have another workstation in the room that she can use a touch screen to access information, and she needs to remind herself that in 15 minutes she needs to return promptly to, the, uh, to uh, draw blood on this patient. Realizing she doesn't have all her equipment, she goes to the supply room and uses OptiFlex to retrieve all the necessary supplies for her patient. Back to the room, she confers with a colleague. It's time for this patient to go to the OR. She needs to go check on the status of the OR. Again, she's going down the long hallway, met, probably mentally reminding herself to put in a CERN or PTO request today. She stops to send a Volt text message to the physician and makes a quick phone call to the charge nurse. She puts on her cap, goes into the operating room, checks the OR to make sure that this room is well equipped for her patient. Satisfied with the room preparation, she leaves the operating room and then travels to the PACU to check this room as well. All in all, our nurse, our very busy nurse, you know, was interacting with a lot of technology. So from the video, how many times did you see her interact with technology? 18? Any other guesses? 35 is what I counted. <laughs>